Welcome back everyone. I am Matthew J. McDonald. Welcome back to the brand new TV show. We are here today with Leslie Poston of Twitter for Dummies. Thank you, Leslie, for being here. Not a problem. Gotcha. Leslie, first of all, some people don't know what Twitter is. What is it? Why does it matter? Uh, Twitter is what they call a microblogging service that gives you a chance to use short messages to talk to your friends, coworkers, celebrities, anyone you'd like to meet and have them talk back. Fantastic. Now when I'm on Twitter, I see the phrase Follow Friday everywhere and I have no idea what it is. What is Follow Friday? How do I take advantage of it? Follow Friday is a method used to share people you think are interesting with the other people in your network. It was started by Miha Baldwin, who is at Miha on Twitter, who um, is the VP of a company called Legit. Uh, you put a hashtag, which is the pound sign, the words Follow Friday, the name of the person you'd like to recommend, a brief reason why you think people should be listening to what they have to say, and send it out into the universe. Fantastic. The other phrase that I see a lot is retweeting. What is a retweet and why does that help anyone or do anything? A uh, retweet similar to Follow Friday is a way to highlight someone that you think has something of value to say or to share an event with someone if you're promoting an event um, around Boston or Portsmouth or you know Portland, Maine, wherever. It gets more eyeballs. It mm -hmm. shares something with your network with my network when you retweet. Excellent. Now, Dr. Liu, you own a business. Yes, I do. What I have, a, I have a chiropractic office. What could Twitter do for an office like mine, or a dentist's office, or a primary care doctor's office? Some private practice. It's actually a really excellent way to increase awareness about health and to increase awareness about your practice. There are a few uh, doctors that are using Twitter effectively to share their knowledge about their fields uh, r right now. Uh, they answer a few questions. I wouldn't recommend starting too many question and answer sessions. It'll be like going to a cocktail party when people find out what you do mm -hmm. and their knee hurts and mm -hmm. you know, can you fix it? Is it better than a blog? Um, no, it's best with a blog. Okay. Now why is it only 140 characters? It originally started as a text messaging service for phones. All phone carriers allow 160 characters, so there's 20 for the username and 140 for the message. Interesting, okay. Now, I don't want to make anyone feel bad here, but I'm on Twitter, at MattMick13, M-A-T-T-M-C-1-3, if you'd like to follow me, and I think I've done better than the average Twitter user, and I don't want anyone to feel bad, but I'm pushing 62 followers, and I feel pretty damn good about it. <laughs> That's actually good, but um, I have almost 5,000 now, so. <laughs> and there's others yeah. that have hundreds of thousands. Hundreds you know, of so thousands, yes. all right. Well, I was feeling pretty good at 62. <laughs> Maybe the show will help me out with that one a little bit. You know, uh, at Matt Mick 13. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about how many followers you have. It's how yeah. they interact with you that matters, not the numbers. So. I think you're right, I think you're right. Now, you have used the term a la carte to describe um, Twitter before. What exactly does that mean? By that I mean everyone uses Twitter for a different purpose. It's mm -hmm. um, very easy to customize. There is no right way to use Twitter. Mm -hmm. There's no wrong way to use Twitter. If you want to use it to talk to your five friends and your sister in Des Moines, that's fine. If you want mm -hmm. to use it like Ashton Kutcher does to broadcast for causes and get the word out about your celebrity appearances, your movies, that's also fine. There's no right way to use it. Even the spammers are fine. Mm -hmm. I don't choose to follow them or listen to them, but if that's how they want to use Twitter, that's their choice completely. Yeah, so. yeah I call this show the, the brand new TV show because it's whatever's brand new, and while Twitter's certainly not brand new, I think it is just reaching that critical mass right now where it was on the cover of Time or Newsweek. Yes. How big yeah. is this going to get? What's the next step here? Uh, it has been growing. I don't have the numbers for this month, but for last month it grew over 13,000 or 1,300 percent in a month. Okay. So it's growing by leaps and bounds now, and I think we're going to hit a peak soon. Mm -hmm. um, not like it won't ever grow anymore, that's not what I mean, but I think the massive growth will stop soon and people will get comfortable with using it and it'll become very mainstream. So. Excellent. What is the name of your book again? Twitter for Dummies, co-written with Laura Fitton and Michael Gruen. Gotcha. And what is your Twitter? My Twitter handle is Geechee Girl. How do you want to spell that for everyone? <laughs> it's G-E-E-C-H-E-E -E -E underscore girl. Gotcha. All right. Thank you for being here. Where can they order the book? They can order the book anywhere. Amazon.com. You can get it on my website, UptownOnCourt.com. You can get it Books A Million, wherever you'd like to, to find it. So, Thank you for being here. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Yeah. We'll be right back.
Thank you very much. We're back, and we are back with Kirby Sport, who is an expert at what is going on in Portland. So, Kirby Sport, let's get right to it. What's going on this weekend? Well, we got a lot of stuff going on. Actually, some stuff during the week is, is uh, pretty cool. We got the weekend music series, and that's going to be in the park from 12 to 1. If you want to go and take a break from your hard day of work and let your ears have some peace, that's a great deal. It's every Friday. Also, uh, WCYY is going to be having summer camp, and Stained is going to be coming through um, on the 10th. What do they mean, summer camp? Just summer camp festival? It is their festival that they do every summer, and it goes out pro um, prolonged through the summer and uh, this the 10th of July is when uh, Steam's coming through. Uh, we also got the benefit for the motorcycle ride and you can get a hold of them um, if you want any more information at operation um, homefront.net slash main backslash main. Um, also we have the annual compass um, project for the boat building festival mm -hmm. and then there's a bunch of places that we know around town that hold a bunch of bands and artists and yep. I'd like to go through those for you. Go for it. We got the Empire Dine and Dance, the Outer Space Bands coming through on the 8th then the 10th, which is going to have a cover charge, you got the Tough Cats, Hoots, and Hellmouth. <laughs> and then, <laughs> what a name, right? <laughs> and then there's Annie and the Beekeepers. Again, okay. another great name. That, that's yeah. the 10th. Um, they have a cover charge, like I said. And then there's Lady, Lay, there's Lady Lamb, the Beekeeper, yeah. um, Free the, uh, Feel It Robot, and Tony, who's coming through on the 11th. Fantastic. Then uh, we have Port City Music Hall. Um, on the 8th, you got Steve Kimmock. On the 9th, you got the Femi Kuti and the Positive Force. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping I said that right. Excuse my, you know, deal. Uh, we have on the 10th, there's Ween. However, it's sold out. So sorry for any of those fans who didn't know about it. But uh, if you can scam a card or scam a, you know, ticket off somebody, I would, I would I'll try and get in on I'll that show. I'll see what show. I can do. Um, and then there's Sean Mori and Rebirth Brass Band. That's going to be there on the 11th. And then the 12th, we got the Crooked Still, I have to say that right. <laughs> Matthew, have you been to Port City Music Hall I yet? certainly have. It's a great, great place. I yeah. mean, they really did a nice job fixing that place up. Absolutely. I can't imagine a better place to see a band that you really, really like and you really want to see than Port City Music Hall. Yeah, they did a fantastic job It's small. There. They've got good acts, but yeah. it's just big enough to get those acts in, and mm -hmm. the sound is great, and oh, it's yeah. beautiful. It's Total really nice rocker place. hall. It's like so chic to the max. I love it. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. All right. What else is going on? Oh, my goodness. We also got uh, one Longfellow Square. We have um, on the 10th, there's the Heather Mass Band, um, mm -hmm. then George Muldor, and then on the 11th, on the 13th, there's Malish sharp and then we have you know the all awesome Bubba's Sulky Lounge <laughs> I mean who hasn't been there and if you haven't you better get there uh, every Friday they have the 80s dance you know you dress up you get looking all 80s spiffy rocker you know punk whatever you want to do put on those short shorts anything neon yeah. <laughs> whatever go to town and uh, and then um, but the 13th specifically there is the roller derby at the Portland Expo and yeah. then after they're having an after party at Bubba's. Yeah. It's free if you have your ticket from the roller derby. Okay. And otherwise it's five bucks to get in. I've been to roller derby. A lot of fun. Oh god. A lot those of fun those women derby. are hardcore and yeah. they're they're awesome. Fantastic. Oh yeah, I I definitely go to that party. You know, Matthew, Mean Tone did a video for the uh, Derby girls and they'll be on later. But uh, that might be something to ask him about because his Absolutely. video on, on online is about uh, the roller derby girls. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. All of these events will be on our website, uh, thebrandnewtvshow.com. And anything else you want to fill us in for, Kirby Sport? Nothing. I just hope you guys are going to go to one of these places that are showing awesome bands and acts. Excellent. We'll see you out then. All right. I'll All be right. out. Thank you very much. And we will be right back.